Nation. Perez looking for. What up, y'all? This your boy AC. Welcome to After News Delight. So, um, let's get into it, man. Uh, Halloween Havoc. Uh, very interesting pay per view or uh, index or network special, whatever they want to call it. Um, but yeah, man, we had the big weapons wild match between Corey Jade and Roxanne Perez. Um, and there was a spot in this match. Like, this match was phenomenal. Like, these two girls are only 21. I think Roxanne is still 20. I think she's going to turn 21 soon. But um, yeah, for them to be that young and to carry a, a, a match like this, especially an Extreme Rules type match, is 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 definitely very promising that they are the future for like the next 15 20 years like in the in the women's division like like they are gold both of them like not just one or the other like both of them are gold um let's go to the end of the match so jay removed one of the guardrails this was a good spot in the match it was kind of awkward too at the same time it was a really good spot jay jawed at perez then um, um perez recovered and staggered jay at the edge of the crow's nest perez was reluctant at hitting her for old friend at first this was a really good spot i really like this because it was like a, the, the, psych the psychology that roxanne was starting to like you know it, it really showed Rose, uh, uh, Roxanne's character to not, you know, to think about not hitting Core, even though they had been battling all match long up until that point. Um, but then she decided to give Jade a Russian leg sweep off the crow's nest into some tables below. That was the spot. And then Jade and Perez recovered with uh, Jade having the upper hand in the brawl. Jade yelled, you, you were never my friend to Perez. Uh, so Corey J again some psychology there it's letting Roxanne Perez know that she was played by Corey J here. Uh, then uh, Roxanne recovered and backdrop Jade onto the chairs. Perez said, "You were always my best friend," and then gave Jay Pop Rocks Cold Red onto the chairs for the win. Uh, this match was almost 13 minutes, and I thought it was one of the matches of the year. I don't care, not just NXT but WWE. Like it was one of the matches of the year like i gonna really go back and watch this match like that's how good this one was like and the fact that these two carried it like they did was awesome um i don't think that this is the end of their feud to be honest um they may start fighting other opponents uh but i, I think um they, i think they will come back to each other at some point i think that's going to continue to be like a little rivalry between these two um for for years to come and i think that's like this is a story that they're building it reminds me of like trish and lita um for years they were rivals um but this one was more of a story of a former friendship you know um of, of betrayal i think they did you know what um i put the poll up um uh, let, let me put it on the screen here so i can show you guys the results here uh which you guys have predicted uh who will win the match uh 58% of you guys were like me. You thought Corey J was going to win. I thought Corey J was going to win. Roxanne Perez got the win. Uh, 77, uh, 772 votes. Shout out to all of y'all, by the way, uh, for voting. Uh, this was, uh, it was, it was kind of unpredictable, but it was more fitting for Roxanne to win because she was the one that was supposed to be getting the revenge here against Corey for turning on her. So it, it wouldn't have probably been good for the rivalry if, core had won like you know i think roxanne needed to win uh to make the feud look even stronger like it's a little bit more even than anybody would encounter but um i think it's definitely going to continue though but i think they're going to start facing other people though um in this next next thing but i think they're always going to come back to each other and i think they're going to just continue to build that core is jealous of roxanne I, I think that's why she will always go back to fighting her so man it, it, it was a good good few here man and i liked it man but go ahead and get this video a like man hit the like button for me share the video subscribe to the channel especially if you're new in the zoo any comments that i got definitely put them below and if you want to donate to the channel hit the super thanks button below or hit up the cash app uh if you have cash app dollar sign sack exchange is my cash tag name you could go into the description box to see how to spell it out but yeah man this was an awesome match man uh it was a little slow moving but it was uh definitely 
it picked up in a lot of different spots and stuff like that. Um, but they did very good for their age, man. Like it was, man, uh, it was, it was definitely, definitely, definitely good, man. Um, Perez is just a, she's a really good wrestler, bro. Like she is a really, really good wrestler. And uh, Corey J reminds me, she's like a little young AJ Lee. She's going to get better and better too. The more and more she gets uh, into these matches as well. Um, but it, it was really good, man. Um, I love the few. I love how they t- turn Corey J here. I'm looking forward to what she does next. I still want to see Corey J join one of the super groups, uh, Damage Control or or um, Judgment Day in the future. Um, you know, I think it'd be good for her, especially as a few, to join a veteran group and kind of be that young wing and then turn into the leader one day. I, I think that's just a good good direction to go with Core or, uh, in the future. So we'll see what they got next for them. Uh, they might even continue this feud. You never know. Like, like I said, people just assume that this is the end, and I don't think it is. Uh, either they take a break or... Um, they get right back into it. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to talk about Alba Fire and um, Mandy Rose X. So I'll see y'all then. Thank you for watching. After news, the like.